Hi guys, so let me introduce myself. <laughs> I am Miss Naturally Mary, Mary Taylor to be exact, and my hair is looking all kinds of crazy right now. I literally just took out my cornrows that had been under units, and my hair is looking sad. It's pitiful, guys. My hair has gone through a lot <laughs> this past year uh, due to stress and a number of different factors my hair has just not been flourishing I am five years natural and guys I feel like my hair should be so much longer it's beginning to thin out hairs falling out it's just been through the ringer to say the least I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job with my hair but um I guess not because I have 4b 4c hair I guess it needs so much more attention than I was giving it and I am just over the thinning I'm over <laughs> just everything of having to deal with all this hair i mean it's not a whole lot but guys if you have a texture like mine you understand what i mean and the middle of my hair has been <sighs> such a challenge to grow i don't know what to do for the middle but i felt like starting over again would be the best for me i thought about it long and hard for months and i finally just made the decision i'm just gonna go for it so here's a quick lint check so that you guys can see where I am currently. In the back is armpit length. In the front, it comes past my chin, maybe an inch or so past my chin. At the top, that's where I have the most challenges, as I stated earlier. Around the circumference, the outer circumference of my head, it grows okay. But in the middle, it's not even comparable to the rest. I don't understand what's going on with that, that area but it's so funny i was actually having a candid conversation with gerard as i was going about this process and he had no idea i was recording at the time but i asked him what he thought about it so i'm gonna let you guys in on what he said he's probably gonna kill me when he sees this but um here it goes because i know some of you are, are wondering just about to cut my hair just about to cut my hair no don't do it such damaged hair and I told you whenever I manipulate it I cry it hurts so bad when I was taking my hair down yesterday my scalp is so sore it's ridiculous he's so supportive y'all now that that's out of the way we are going to get into this process so when I posted a photo on Instagram yesterday you guys went crazy and thanks so much you guys are so sweet you are asking what products I used, who cut my hair, y'all. I cut my hair myself, and I styled it with this new product line that I am in love with. These products are amazing. The hold, the moisture, hydration, everything is on level a million. <laughs> I also decided to dye my hair, and I used Brevlon Color Silk in color Bright Black, but we're going to get into the styling process. So I started by using my Curie Do Hair Steamer just to make my hair a bit more pliable. So I'm just going to go through each section while cutting and just stretch it out and then proceed to use a detangling comb to further stretch it. I probably should have washed my hair and blew it out and all that, but who has time for all that? So I decided to use the hair steamer to stretch it and begin cutting. So I'm going to start with the back section first, so I'm going to get the other hair out of the way. So I just kind of did like somewhat of a V. It's not a V. It's like so not perfect. But I'm going to start my cut on the sides and then work my way around to the back. This is going to be interesting, guys. I'm so not a hairstylist, but I feel like I have more control over the cut if I do it myself. I did a poll on Instagram and the majority said don't cut it and go to a salon if I do, but I wanted to do it myself. Baba, I just cut a face. Oh my god! I'm so extra, y'all. I apologize. <laughs> so it's so nerve wracking. Y'all don't even understand. I can't believe I just did that. Oh my god. I'm gonna let you 
Oh, you have it Mama, I'm gonna FaceTime you so you can see how much I just cut. I'm so nervous. No, it's a lot. Where are you cutting it? I cut right here. Why are you cut so much? It's gonna be a short cut, but I don't. I'm nervous now. Oh my god. I'm so it, nervous. It looks like you have a lot of hair, but you claim it's damaged. Mama, it is so damaged. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna let you do your business. You can send me photos if you want. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs. The food is here. Oh, gracious. Okay. Pretty much it. Well, good luck with everything. I'm sure it's gonna be killer. Did you do any research on how to cut it? Or you just, like, of course, I looked at videos, but I'm kind of winging it too. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll see. Good luck. Oh, I'm so nervous. All right, Bubba. Okay. Good luck with everything. All right. Pray for me. Now do a great job. Okay. Right. All right. So I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So we are going to kill this cut, me and Jesus. Let's do this. Fine. 
Might drop to your knees and surrender some tears Feeling all alone, taunted by fear Let go of all that holds you back Your struggle ain't in vain, it will in fact Be the mark, the stage to show the pain you've overcome Alright guys, so the haircut was a success. This is all the hair out with the old and in with the new. We're going to start this hair journey all over again. So after cutting my hair, I did decide to dye it black and I showed you guys the hair dye. I love the way it turned out. Before I begin the styling process, I need to wash my hair. So I'm going to be using the Roots Natural Redeem Moisturizing Sulfate Free Shampoo. And when I tell you guys this shampoo shocked me, it lathers so quickly and it's so moisturizing. This product, this is really the best shampoo I've ever used. I might be using it for the rest of my life. It felt so good on my scalp. It has ingredients that energize and invigorate the senses such as lavender and also rosemary. This product is also sulfate free, paraben free. It has shea butter, jojoba oil, aloe vera it is just loaded with all kinds of goodness so i'm going to rinse this out and begin the deep conditioning process before we move on to that let's do a texture shot look at how my curls are already starting to form this product made my hair so moisturized and this is only the shampoo guys so the deep conditioner is about to kill look at that do y'all see how shiny it is so now it's time to condition. I'm gonna be using the Redeem conditioner and this is a deep penetrating and moisturizing conditioner and it does just what the title says. It really helped to penetrate my hair shaft and just moisturize and create hydration. It was so creamy and easy to apply. This product is amazing. So I started by placing it all over my hair. I placed a generous amount, I finger detangled as I went, and then I decided to use my Curie Do again. It says that you're supposed to leave it on for three to five minutes and then use a heat cap, but I decided to use the hair steamer so that I'd really have an intense deep conditioning process going. The Redeem conditioner along with that Curie Do and my Denman brush just really helped to make the detangling process so much easier. Also, my hair was softer and hydrated it was just amazing i was literally trying to keep my composure because i was really hyped so i'm going to take it off and show you guys just what i mean after leaving the conditioner on my hair for about 10 minutes and then rinsing it off my curls were popping do you all see that i could not get over this this is amazing i have 4b4c hair y'all i don't know that my hair has ever looked this good so we're gonna move on, it's time to style. I'm gonna be using the Hydrate Natural Curl Moisturizer. This is actually a second day moisturizer that you can use, but I decided to use it as a leave-in. I also applied the Roots Natural Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I love the applicator tube that it comes with. It makes the application process so much easier and it smells good, guys. I've never had Jamaican Black Castor Oil that actually smelled nice and it invigorated my scalp. This is great for thickening the hair, also promoting hair growth. It's great around your edges. My edges are usually fine, but I decided to use it on my edges as well, just to help enhance the thickness. We can always use more thickness, guys. So I'm gonna just apply this all over. It was blessing my life, y'all. Come on, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. That feels really, really good. Now on to the styler. This Bouncy Curl Styler, when I tell y'all it hooked your girl up, this is great for eliminating frizz, also moisturizing. It's, it is a dream, y'all. I could not believe the definition that it produced in my hair, and you guys will see that later. I applied this on my hair and proceeded to do a twist out, but I can imagine if I did bantu knots, if I did a perm rot set, I could do probably do a wash and go with this product, and it would kill. This product is amazing. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch the whole twisting process and then I'll move on. But y'all just know, just know, this is where it's at. Go, 
So I'm finished twisting and this is probably the fastest that it's taken me to twist my hair. I have small to medium twist in my hair and I am excited to see the results in the morning. Okay, so it's time for the big reveal. Okay guys, so of course my hair shrunk some, but it's okay. I'm gonna begin untwisting my hair in the opposite direction. I'm just going to unravel each twist and then I'm gonna separate. But look at that definition. Do y'all see that? Get close, get close. It's so soft, so shiny. It is like defined out of this world. Look at that y'all, do y'all see that? These results are about to be killer. Love crazy. Oh, love, when I seen you from afar, baby, I knew you were all that I really wanted. After separating all over, I proceeded to pick, and I'm only picking at the roots and lifting a little bit and you can already see the style coming together. It is so amazing, y'all. I can't even believe I did this myself. Jesus came through for me. So we're gonna get these edges together now. This gel pomade really works wonders. I applied it all over my edges and proceeded to use a rat tail comb to slick it down and it looks so good. It really helped to tame my kinky hair and the baby hair and everything was just looking flaky. I don't even say that, but y'all get my drift. Oh, so I applied the gel pomade all over my side edges as well as the front hairline, and it really helped to create a sleek look. Now, here's the thing. I love baby hair a lot, so I also decided to cut some baby hair along the side I know some of you guys are gonna cringe at that, but I really wanted to do it. It was only this one little area. Y'all, it'll grow back. I kinda hope it doesn't, but yeah, it worked out. I love the results, so that's all that matters. Oh girl, you look so good. Shining bright like you're supposed Y'all know y'all like that baby hair. You can't tell me that don't look good. It looks so good, right? Okay, I think it looks good, so. <laughs> We just gonna move on. So I finished up my edges and this is pretty much the look. Definition, moisturized hair. The cut looks amazing. We are winning. We are totally winning guys. Roots Natural, you did me right. You did me so good. I love you. And this Jamaican black casserole just really was the icing on the cake. So we are done guys. You guys should definitely, okay, you don't have to try the taper cut, but I felt like it was necessary for me to start over. Don't be afraid to start over, guys. If your hair is thinning, if it's damaged, cut it off. It'll grow back. I'm not sure if I'm going to let mine grow back. I've been telling Gerard that I love it so much that I don't think I will. I feel like this whole process is going to be so much easier, and maybe I'm wrong, but... I'm loving it so far. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check the description box for the links to the Root Natural products that I used. They will all be listed. They are bomb.com. Do people even still say that? I don't even know. But yeah, like this video, comment, subscribe. I wanted to show you guys the complete process. I'm sorry this video was so long, but I hope that you guys loved it. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.